Good morning, my crafty friends. <laughs> today is today is Thursday, September the 9th. My goodness, how did it get to be almost the middle of September? We weren't watching. We were not watching. Welcome to my desk. So I thought I'd work on a Rolodex card this morning. Penelope's here. And as I was sorting, yes, I've been sorting. <laughs> you saw that yesterday. I found these postcards that I created. You know, I didn't sign them, did, did I? Um, oh, I created them a couple years ago, and then I repainted them. But now I'm thinking I can add just a touch of fall to them. Um, and let's get them out in the mail. I think they've been varnished. I'm not real sure. And here's the back. I have a... <laughs> I barely have room for a message. But I have ad room for an address there. So we're going to work on these today, and I think Becky did. I haven't had a chance. Man, I'm telling you, I'm just running to catch up. I have not had a chance to uh, look at what Becky did yesterday afternoon. I could not be there, but I think she worked on postcards. So we're going to we're going to work along and finish these up this morning, I believe, because they're almost all done. They're almost all done, and I think I have a good, well, we'll count them later. So we're going to work on those. We're going to do a Rolodex card. Uh, I have dolls to work on, and I thought maybe I would cut an African stencil and work on my finishing my dolls. I'm still working on the dolls. And don't forget, Friday, which is tomorrow is our time for art houses hop yeah i know what i'm going to do and uh, i'm really looking forward to if you have not looked at the playlist go out and check the time for art september houses playlist because there are several videos in there already uh, mrs Gigi has made several I think Carol and Diana Art have put videos in there, and Ann Lahr uh, has put a video in there. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with these houses. So I know what I'm going to do with mine. And let's see, I have a... I have a... Oh, this goes in Arlene's pocket. I've been saving this out. This goes in Arlene's pocket. Maybe I'll put it in the back here just to keep it safe. Just to keep it safe. And I will someday get that pocket out to you, Arlene. It's here. I just have to do the finishing touches. And I don't know. Finishing touches, as you can see, take me a while. <laughs> and my glue stick is still out in the other room. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to run and get it. I will use wet glue. Let's look at what I had. I was saving this off. I was saving this back of this EK Success Boutique Dimensional Stickers. Let's cut that out. Let's cut it out. Cut it out. Let me go out here and say good morning. I've got an ad going here. Hold on. All right. Hi, Arlene. Good morning, Arlene. Hi, Mitzi, Mitzi. 
Oh, good morning, Mrs. Gigi. Hi, Connie Stanley. Good morning. Glad to have you join us. And there's Nina. Hi, Nina. Color with Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Connie. Kimberly. There's Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. All right. So, without further ado, I have some of this scrappy paper left from covering this journal. I covered this journal the other day with this paper and to make it look faux leathery. And I really do like how that turned out. I might stain this a little more so it's a little more brown. And yeah, I like the worn spots here. I I made it look very worn and I, I like this. Lady was a mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> so, and I actually did a couple pages in here. I missed my stream on Tuesday. I really apologize. Um, why did I miss it? I think I was just tired. I, I uh, did not stream Tuesday. Just tired was not up to streaming but I'm here now so we're going to cut this out I like this well, maybe I should just do it this way huh yes I can let those peek out let's do that Good morning. Happy autumn to you. Are you guys starting to feel the fall vibes in the air? The autumn vibes? I am. Uh, although, I have to say, our, our leaves are not turning yet. Let's see. I think I'll cut these out, though. Let's see. What do I need to cut, right? Here. And right there. It's beginning to look a lot like autumn out there. Arlene. Arlene dropped the link to the architecture playlist. Um, there should be a time for art playlist out there for September. That architecture one is Saturdays, which is cool. Mrs. Gigi actually used, is using the house that she built in the architecture uh, stream to She's made the same type of house. I don't know if she used the same one, but it's the same type that she did in her Saturday stream. She's converting it into... Let me snip down this way. Hold on a minute. She's converting it for the time for art houses where we're doing... A room in the house and let me tell you what I've seen so far I've really liked I've really liked what I've seen so far She's doing a, a great job out there and I know what I'm going to do I, it's been on my mind in fact I was thinking of it as I fell asleep last night but I'm not going to tell you guys. Well, I've, t I've told you that I'm going to do bed and breakfast. 
and I showed you the book I was going to work in. All right, we're liking this. We're liking this. I think I'll put this on with tape. It's just much easier. And shall I put... I'm feeling like... Let's tear. Oh, this is already torn here. Ooh, this is good. Put it on like that. No, it needs a little more. Oh, I've got plenty. I've got plenty here. Put it like so. Yes. We could even have it tear on the side. Let's tear here. So, and I joined that messy studio tour that uh, Tanya and Lisa are doing. And I was reading the comments. I haven't had a chance to reply to the comments yet. But several said, oh, I need to do this. <laughs> and going, go for it. Let's clean our studios. This needs to be a little darker, maybe. Put this on here first. And then this. Now I need a I need a head. Oh, yes, I saved my scraps. <laughs> Where am I gonna put them? Let's see what I have here. I was painting these envelopes for the dolls, but you know what? I do not think that they're going to, the dolls are, are not going to fit in these envelopes. I mean, they'll fit. I can get the dolls in there, but I'm afraid that they, I think I'm going to have to put them in boxes to send them so that they don't get all torn up. Now we'll put these in here. Alrighty. So I need photos and or Tim Holtz. Let's get a Tim Holtz out of here. I got red zinger tea this morning. I guess maybe I should zoom in so you guys can see a little better. I get to working and I forget that you may not be seeing. Well, I guess my paper is crooked. Now my camera's crooked. I guess that's pretty good. You can see a little better. I don't want to zoom in too much. Alrighty. Nina says, It never feels like autumn to me until I see the clouds forming mare tails in the sky. That's when they're forming ice crystals way, way up. Oh, interesting, Nina. Thank you, Arlene. Arlene put a, a, a link to the September Time for Art playlist, the houses one. Yay. Thank you, Arlene. Good morning, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda says, I'm going through and getting, getting rid of things. I won't use what I have in a lifetime. I I will probably not use everything in a lifetime either, Rhonda. But isn't it fun just to have? Yep. <laughs> I, I'll be lucky if I get it in boxes, though, and get it inventoried. That's what I'm working on. I'm going to work off and clearing off that desk. I've got all these wonderful feet. 
let's see there's a little girl on a horse and a clock and a button card here this is on an EK success product tag so let's see what I can find let's see what I can find here got little boys I got more feet I'm going to have to figure out what to do with all these feet. I guess tags or ATCs or something. I could put humans on them. Use them as a base for paper dolls. There was a little girl one. I love these. I love them. Here's a couple little girls and a dad. That might go. How cool is this? How cool these are. Seem to be more groupings of little boys than groupings of little girls. I don't know why. Don't girls get together in groups? I had some little girls in there, but I think I've used all my little girls. Here's some older girls. Oh, here's, nope, those are little boys again. Well, I think this one is my best bet. Now I was thinking like this, maybe. But if I want their hands to show, I might have to put him over a little, put him over a little. And let's see how how far those stick out here. Not too bad. Some are going to stick out taller than the others. I think I like this. All right, let's use this. All these feet. All the feet. I've got another package of these that I'm not cutting up yet. These are my ones that I've been cutting through. Color the, this first. With what? Do, 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 do. Hey, nah. do I have a Crayola in here? I've got glue sticks. I don't think I. What's this? I thought I had some of that one of those art sticks that broke. Put that bobby pin on there. Glue sticks, glue sticks. Here's a rose. That would look nice on there. Oh, I have to just go looking here. 
This is typical Mary. Okie dokie. Let's put this back. I thought I had a whatnot box out here. Hold the phone. Whatnot box. Oh, there's the dice. Let's keep this dice out. kitty that says hi. Here. This is what I was looking for. It's an art bar. It's Derwent. Let's use that. I'm glad I found this. Now, where am I going to put these? I'm going to put them in my pen, pen tray there. Alright, we're not going to go any further. Let's close up the whatnot box. Put it back over here. bar. And I think I can, uh-oh, uh-oh, look, I forgot to put my brush in the water. I'm going to have to put that in some Papa's Murphy oil. I'll put it in the water now, but, and this luckily is not too bad. Oh dear Mary. I, that sat since Friday, no, Sunday, that brush. I forget about it. I put it up there. I was gluing. Yep. I forgot all about it. I usually try to clean my brushes at the end of my session, but. Oops. And I actually have some clean water here. I had to go get water. Let's use this clean water. Let's see if I can. Yes. Let's see what happens if I just. I guess I need it more up to the top here. I bought these art bars. I think I got them on sale. They're Derwent. They're called Art Bar. They're kind of like a a water soluble media. I don't know how permanent. I've got stuff on my desk. I don't know how permanent these are going to be. But we shall see. I, I never really liked working with these. You can hardly see it because it's about the color of what I'm working on. envelopes out so you can see it a little better. not sure I really like I never really did like these art bars it's kind of like a water soluble wax but I guess the idea is just to get some color on the back of this I'm 
not sure I like that. So we're going to leave it. It just kind of, kind of colorizes it. Kind of, sort of. I could put tissue on here. Autumn. Autumn. I might be happier if I did that. And tear off around there. Let's try that. Let's try it. Let's just play. That's what it's here for is to play. <sighs> I'm just playing this morning. Arlene says, stuff accumulates quickly. Yes, it does, Rhonda says. I'm overwhelmed with all the stuff. I thought I was overwhelmed seeing all the stuff in everyone's video. It used to be fun to have all the stuff, but it's not fun anymore. You know when it ceases to be fun is when, when it starts moving in on you. When it starts moving in on you, then and you cannot be creative anymore just because you it's pushing in on you um that's that's when it's time to and with me i think with me it isn't so much the volume of stuff well it's the volume but i'm not ready to get rid of i'm ready to find a place for things i think that's my problem mostly is i just I, I don't have it like Becky says everything in its place and I'm going I need a place all right put that right back in the water and let's take this and put on here I think I'm gonna like this better and then we're gonna tear off I don't want to leave that glue on this brush. Let's get it off. Yeah, that's going to tear pretty nice, I think. And I did not glue it all the way down. I'm going to tear or cut.
Okie dokie. I'm liking that. Um, gosh, I wish I had my glue stick out here. Let's grab another Rolodex. This is the one I'm going to use for here. I had to take some of the Rolodex cards out. Let's just glue them willy-nilly on here. Use up my scrap. Shall we do the... Oh, where's that other one? Let's do the pumpkin. Let's do the pumpkin over here. Just use up this. Use it up. See how stiff that brush was. I put it in water, and that water kind of helps it. It, it just needed, it wasn't so cured on there that the water did not solve it, uh, soften the bristles. Isn't that interesting? So I'll, I'm, I'm still going to clean it. I'll put it out in some Murphy's Oil soap and clean it, but I think my brush, my brush is not beyond hope. Let's put it back in the water. Get this other one out. Ah. Wet brushes. I do not like wet brushes. Hi, Sylvia. Good morning. How are you all doing today, Sylvia asks. I tell you, I needed a bit of a break the last couple days. I worked in the yard. I Every time I work in the yard, I get tired. I planted some mums. I planted seven large. They had mums on sale. And I had to get them in the ground. And I planted those. And, you know, the my brother tilled the, the garden in the spring but yeah you know, it's all summer it sits there and and the ground was hard i had to really struggle to get holes deep enough for those mum plants they were fairly large they're eight inch ones Put that in the water. And let's. Yeah. This wants to fold here. Come on, you're not folding. There we go. Now it's, it wants to go a little bit higher. So I'm going to take some of that paper. Where'd I put it? <laughs> Where'd I put that paper? Did I already put it in a bag? I think I did. Some of this paper and stiffen it up on the back and tear it. And I got all this left to work with. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll just take We'll take and save it. Where's my bag? Oh, 
I've got stuff. I've got stuff. I'm going to put that on there. I'm gonna put my brush back in the water. Kimberly says, I get to harvest my pumpkin patch on my birthday in a couple weeks. Oh, cool. You have 10 orange, green, and white. Ooh, very cool, Kimberly. Very cool on your birthday. When is your birthday? You said a couple weeks. <laughs> Oops. Oh. That might be a little tricky. I want this to go on here. It's still pretty flimsy, even with all those layers. So, I think on this one, let's get this a dry. See what I can find in here. These are these are out of the Life magazine. I got these at Keisha's Auctions. I think they're so cool. Let's find one to go on there. Some of them are kind of political. A lot of them are political. There's Kennedy's. Ooh, I kind of like that. Repetition. They're all wearing these glasses, 3D movie glasses. Why are these pair people wearing glasses? They're watching a 3D movie. What film was the first to require these glasses? The Buana Devil, B-W-A-N-A -A Devil. Who manufactured the glasses? The Polaroid Corporation. Who were the male and female stars in the first movie to require them? Robert Stack and Barbara Britton. That's kind of cool. I like that. This is a pretty good picture. There's Kennedy. That is John Wayne. William Holden. William Holden. Kind of like that one too. These are out of the Life magazine, I think. The looks like trivia from the Life magazine. Ernest Hemingway, Old Man in the Sea. That one's kind of cool. <laughs> Who's that? Alfred Eisenstadt. Oh no, who is this famous impression aerial promoter? Saul Hurok. H U R O K. Kind of like that picture. 
really cool black and white photos. All right, and then I have one. I have a package I haven't opened yet. Let's see. I'm saving these little pieces to tell me who these are. Let's put them back in the bag. My bag is... Oh, I guess it goes the other way. Well, I don't know if I can get all of those in one bag. Let's just put them in there. I kind of like this. But, do I want that? I'm, I'm going to tear this. It's still a little wet. know if those will go on here. We shall see. It's wet over here. Yeah. All right, is anybody up working in their craft room early this morning? Hi, Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie Society. Welcome, welcome. Sylvia says, I would have loved to live live stream. Oh, but my old laptop is not enough to handle being live. You know, I, I understand that, Sylvia, because I tried to go out. Uh, I was streaming on this laptop, but... They did a YouTube, or not YouTube, Microsoft did a couple updates. And since those updates, I can't stream on it anymore. So, yeah, that's not down there. Oh, dear, Mary. I'm not sure those pictures are going to work for for what I did. I keep putting these brushes back in the water because I don't want them to get. Then I have to get them out and dry them off again. <laughs> I don't want them to dry so I put them right back in that water and then I don't like wet, wet brushes. And then when I want to use them again, i got to wipe it all off. I like the top. Let's cut out the card here. I don't know about this picture with all these. I might put this in my composition book. I think that's cool. We could do William Holden. He won his only Oscar for what 1952 film that starred Otto Preminger. Starlog 17. He co starred in 1950 with Gloria Swanson in what film that won an Oscar for Judy Holiday? Sunset Boulevard, born yesterday. The Bridge Over the River Kwai and the Bridges of Tokyo Ri. William Holden. 
I'm not sure I want to do that for this. I might put them in my composition book. So this was the scrap one. I'm making scraps out of my scraps. I should just say, okay, I've used enough scraps and throw my scraps away. <laughs> See, I got scraps of my scraps. I'll have to put some color down there. I missed it on there. Okay, got a nice pumpkin on there though. Ooh, I like this. That could go on here. We could also go on this one. This one. Now see, I get to playing. I get to playing with these. I'm thinking like this. And like. Something like that. I don't know if I need that. Maybe on the back. Maybe this one on here. Cut off the feet. I might just save this for another time. I like it though. This is of my scrap. Put it that way. Except I'm going to cut their feet off. I'm going to cut off their feet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oops. Well, she's going to have to. And then they're going to go on the card. Maybe I shouldn't have cut the feet off. I think the feet were what were holding them on. We shall see. I'm just playing this morning. She cut their feet off with a carving knife. <laughs> Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. <laughs> See how they run. I won't go any further than that because I'm out of tune.
Thank you, Arlene. Gave a link to Mrs. Gigi's uh, channel. Sylvia, if you can't live stream, you can, if you still want to do videos, did we add you to one of the hops? I think I added you to one of the hops. Did I add you to a fr Friday hop? I'm going to have to check the schedule. Did I add you to a Friday hop, Sylvia? And then you're saying you can't live stream? Do I have you on the schedule for Friday for tomorrow morning? Uh-oh. Hi, Janet. Are you going to are you going to be with us tomorrow morning, Sylvia? Or did I add you to the Saturday video hop? You're doing a premiere video. Oh, okay. So you can do a premiere video, but not a live stream. But when you do a premiere, it's almost like a live stream. It's almost like a live stream because you'll be there chatting. All right, we're good. I'm good with that. There we go. Now... I almost need another, where's that piece of, that strip that I said would go good on there. What did I do with it? Here. That could help hold these on. Here. I like that, and that will help hold this is kind of wobbly so let's do that I'm working on the scrap one set the other one aside yeah if you're I understand the laptop situation so I've been wanting a new laptop and I've been putting it off. I've been putting off buying one. I might have to trim it up there a little, but I can do that. Now, let's trim this off a little. Gives that a little more sturdiness in there. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that one. <sighs> I'll put that in my bucket. My bag. 
Okie dokie. Let's get that whatnot box out again. I feel like this needs more. What do I have in here? I got the high. The little high. High. Dimensional bingo. Ooh, I got some lace. Piece of painty paper. Actually, that goes good with this, doesn't it? Maybe that came with that. sure about the lace. <laughs> Got a little heart button. A little heart. I got a knife across her neck. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I could hang something off of there. A little piece of lace. And put a little piece of tape. And hopefully I'll be able to get this off. The release paper. some arms here. It's always harder to get this tape off of fabric than paper. Because it it sticks to fabric, but when you want to pull up on the release paper, it pulls off of the fabric. If I can't get this out here. Mm 
There we go. I'm liking that. Now it needs something on there. All these little knick-knacky things in there. Some staples. What's this? It's too big. That's a glue stick. This should go on one of my dolls. Save that out. What's this? Ink pen cap. Buttons, but they're too big. The little ones fall down. I used to this life journey chain here I'm gonna put this on one of my journals eventually I used to have this hanging in my car off of the rearview mirror no I think I had it down on the radio knob life journey for the longest time I had this hanging there's a little car on here a little car charm uh, what's this I think is an airplane no is that a cross or an airplane I think that's a cross and this is just a little star and it says life life journey and I think this is a Sarah Coventry I'm not maybe not I'm not sure where I got this but I always liked it all right I'm kind of partial to that penny got some Google eyes got a little clock face could put the penny inside of the clock face little ladybug pen I'm saving that for something special a little rooster pen another penny the button oh here's a little bit of blue bling blue bling that could go right there all right I think I'm getting it have to dump everything out and sort it through. Here's a little zebra charm. I'm going to save that for my African journal. African Kabuto. Yep, I have to throw everything out. This is a piece of washi, I believe. Or is it just paper? I was saving it, I think, for washi. All right, let's throw everything back in. I think I got what I want. A little clock button. Bobby pins all over the place. <laughs> bobby pins, bobby pins, bobby pins. Here's another little peace sign. I 
was this one was an earring. Tiny little sequence or paper clip. I'm gonna put this little zebra over here in my pen tray with the dice. I saw that Rosemary was on last night, but I didn't, I wasn't on very long last night. I think this is meant to be a pumpkin face here. A little punched out pumpkin face out of a, out of a tin. gonna put it on there let me put stuff away here I have to get it all out and dump it out and look it all through eventually I'll use all of this stuff eventually all right oh there's more the lace there's a piece of fabric I don't like in that. Made in China. <laughs> Let's say that. I think that was off my rusty stuff. Ah, I had lots, a lot of stuff out here, didn't I? that away all right let's see what I got here No, I guess I'll save that for another one. I like it, but it doesn't really go on there. Let's put this little piece of red there. We can do that. Got the little button. Button, penny, and clock. Oh, it just takes me time to sort through and figure out what I want to do. It just takes Mary time to play around. And take this little piece of scrap of fringe just probably a tear off of a, a little piece a little snip that I had left <laughs> and I was thinking that little piece of blue bling on that and I might have to tack that on with some glossy accent Ew. 
rust out my pen. I'm going to throw that away. Get another clean one out. It just seems to gunk up my... Those pins just seem to gunk up my... Glossy accent. Uh, Penelope, give me a pen here. A yellow one. And I want just a little bit. that dry. Now the penny, I think I'm going to put on this clock face. I'll cover up my pumpkin. I'm not sure that'll go good on there. I think I might just leave it like so. I've got a little button here. I might save the penny for another time. Put those buttons on there. Alrighty. Put these back. save that for another time too. All right, let's put the buttons on and collar done. Oh no, I got to I've got to trim the my sharpie pen hi Ruth did I say good morning to you and Neptune blue Neptune blue oh Good morning, Neptune. She says, thank you so much for replying, Rhonda, Sylvia, and Janet. Good morning to you, too. Basically, you can do whatever you like. I've always decorated my hardcover sketchbooks. This is a whole nother level. I'm always finding new levels. I, I get inspired by other people. <laughs> and we are, we are doing Rolodex cards. This is nothing new. These, they call them arcades. I first saw these done by a lady in Wisconsin. What was her name? Linda? I can't remember her last name. She actually lived in Madison. And I actually, we actually went to a couple of classes little cla craft classes together. She's big in making cards, and I cannot remember her last name for Love No Money. I probably will see her out there on YouTube every now and then. Oh, 
our cads. Ah, that's good enough. I'm going to put a spot of that glossy accent in there. Kind of hold that heart button down a little. It'll have to dry. I don't know if that's going to stay. I might have to put some white on it and let it dry. Let's put these on. Yeah. There. And yeah, right in there. Now, I want to put this in my Arcad, but I'm going to have to let that, I'm going to have to put some weight on that button and let it dry. So, I'll sign it on the back when I, it's all done. Let me set it over here and put a, a paint bottle on it. Hold the phone. i got to get it over there. It's not going to hold. The pink bottle is going to topple off. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's put my glossy accents away. Put the lid on it. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Put my glue away. I've had enough of playing with arcades for one day. I've got a little piece of purple. I got these out. Yeah. Here are my. This is my arcade with all my little paper dolls. It's so fun! I'm not going to go through each one. But it's so fun. And I got a, a playing card back here that I want to... I think I got that in Happy Mail. And let's just throw this stuff in the back. Alright. I'll move it. Yep, over on my desk. Out of the way. And okay, I can I'm gonna save that. I can throw these scrappies away. Throw them away, Mary! Throw them away. You gotta throw away some stuff. Alright. Whoops, I've got an art cad left here. This is a little tin that I used that ice resin on. Around in there. I really do like how that turned out. This was 
came to me from Petals and Dreams is Daniel Smith watercolor. Looks like the watercolor fell out of the tray there. Where's the the magnets did not stick on these very well. They're gonna have to I'm missing a color. Here it is. She put them in there for me. She shared with me some of her Daniel Smith watercolor. How cool was that? How cool was that? And of course, I'm too stingy to use it. But I decorated the tray, and this is how it turned out. I like that ice resin in the background. All right, we can. We're going to keep this little piece of fabric. Give Penelope. Let's work on these postcards. Let's work on the postcards. So I made these, some of you might remember me making these. And these are, I would say they're mostly done, except for addressing them. But I think that what they need, if I want to send them out for fall, is a little orange. And I'm not sure how. Little, um, let's get these off. I decided against those. These are going to go, I think, in my composition my brush in the water so it doesn't dry out. My tape over here. Oh, I didn't use that, did I? Scrappies. Yeah, I always have stuff out when I do this. All right. So, what do I want to do here? I remember painting these a brighter yellow so that they'd stand out a little bit more. Maybe just even a red line around the border might be just enough to accent them. A red line in here. Where's my Tuscan red? We've got ripe tomato. Let's find my Tuscan red. Got Georgia Clay. Tuscan red. And a little brush smaller than this. A tiny, tiny brush. I'm looking, I'm looking. They tend to fall on the inside here. Hold the phone. Let's see if I can get one of these out. I buy these. I buy them now every time I go to Walmart, I'm seeing seeming to or hobby lobby seeming to get me an extra little set of brushes because i i am hard on them all right let's do the tuscan red i think and see how that shows up i might have to go to a brighter red or georgia clay it just needs a little touch And I might just be able to leave it in the cap. That may not be bright enough for me. Let's see. 
No, it needs to be brighter. I love Tuscan red, but it it needs to be a brighter red. Let's try the Georgia clay. And maybe I should zoom in a little so you guys can see. A little better. Hi, Roy. Good morning, Roy. Good morning. Mina said she has to go get her some tea. I have red zinger tea here. I even like it when it cools off the red zinger. I might have to go to more of an orangey color or a brighter red. Let's get out a brighter red. Red apple, maybe. Oh, let's try the red apple. And when I just use a little, I work right out of the cap. Then I don't have to mess up my desk or get out something for a palette. I work right here out of the cap. There's certainly enough paint in there. And all I'm going to do is another line. Just to brighten this up a little. And that may be all it needs to add a little fall touch to it. And the line doesn't even have to be straight. And I think these will, for the most part, be ready to go. I think I've already varnished them with a matte varnish. I'm kind of liking that. This kind of has a fall vibe to it. So, Becky, Aunt Beck's Creations, I think she did postcards yesterday. I didn't get out to watch her stream. I was otherwise occupied, but knowing Becky, she probably finished them. And have them ready to mail out. Well, here's the thing. I have postcards that I've done a year or so ago that still need to be mailed. So we're going to put some finishing touches on them and get some of these things mailed. I have some owl postcards that need to be mailed. And I know one of them goes to Janet Baum. And I've got who the other went to and I can't find my list. It's here someplace. How about some touches of red in there? Yeah. Yep, I'm liking that. I think that adds just enough, just enough to make it look like fall. Except I might have to put some of this paint out in my, because I don't want to mess up that cap too much.
I like that. I'm going to leave it. I can't tell you how many times I've altered these postcards. It's about time to send them off. All right, we're going to put this aside and let it dry. Where? Where? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Finding space to put these postcards after I paint them. So I might even get these sent off this week. I won't get them sent off this morning. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to put some paint. Let's put it on this. Let's put it on here. And I might actually get these sent off. I don't know who I'm sending them to. I'm going to send them at random. I don't know. You may get one. I'm going to send them at random. I'll have to keep a record of who I send stuff to, though. So, because I got more postcards to send. And if you don't get one of these, you may get another one. Because I want to get them, get them done. Get them out. So that when Becky makes postcards again, I can postcard with her. I might go back in and sign these after the paint dries on the front. Put a little signature on them. And I guess I'll take some of this Georgia clay and put out here too. That's enough. I love my Georgia clay. Just let those dry. Let me take. 
tell you, I'm going to have to find a better place to put things to dry because I have them all scattered here. I'm moving that paint around that I have over here on my making room. Making room. Oh, you just get a white desk. Sorry about that. Hi, Angie. Good morning, Angie. Janet, you you know nephew moved out. His girlfriend left, so now I have to do his clothes again. <laughs> oh, pooey, Angie. You have to teach him how to do his own clothes. Roy. Aunt Arlene says, Roy, that is... The advantages of being homebound. My interactions with people are mostly online and I can turn them off. <laughs> Arlene. Roy says, that's a beautiful, wonderful idea, Arlene. I need to watch a kid's movie every day during these dark times. Roy, I watch the children's movies that I had on DVD when I get down on humanity and I giggle and I need to giggle. <laughs> is Galena in here? Hi, Galena, Purpolina. Good morning, Galena. I know Galena from Dee Dee's streams, I believe. And she's on Twitter. I know her from Twitter. And she, yeah, I'll bet your little one, I remember your little girl, so cute. I'll bet she's all growing up now. She has to be what, five years old now? Three or four years old, Galena? Oh, she was about three when... So she has to be around five, doesn't she, your little one? I don't know her name, but she's so cute. Roy says, Arlene, I remember that. Now that the grandkids are older, I don't seem to find the time to watch kids' movies. <laughs> I like to watch family-type movies. I'll watch them. I'd just as soon watch them as, as any old... I don't like historical document documentaries. I like to watch those. But I usually watch on YouTube. <laughs> I usually watch YouTube stuff. And it won't be long and they'll be showing all the holiday movies again. The Hallmark movies. They're probably already on the Food Channel having Halloween cooking shows. I always seem to catch those. Yep, I think I'll get these postcards ready to send. Yes, I do think so. And we'll actually get them mailed out. So we got to get out in the garden. And I planted mums. I've got those all planted, but now we need to pull up the corn because the corn's all done. And every year we cut down the peonies. You cut them down, and so they'll grow up again next year. So that needs to be done. I bought my brother a, a bush trimmer. For his birthday. He had a birthday here over Labor Day on the 5th. Bought him a bush trimmer for his birthday. And I w he wasn't sure he was going to like it. And I said, well, we can always take it back and get something you want. And I was ready to take him back. And he said, no, we'll keep it. it we can cut down the peonies and the smaller. But we have uh, a problem with volunteer volunteer trees growing up and if you don't cut them while they're young they become trees they become big trees and we've got a couple out there in the backyard that are getting fairly large yep I'm liking these I've got several of these so I will send them out that was three. Let's see how many I got. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen of them. This was from one of Becky's dirty dozens that we were doing. And this was when I worked across the whole desk. And don't forget, tomorrow tomorrow is our time for art. Hop. I'll be on early in the morning. Janet Nash will come on. We're doing a room in a house with interactive pieces. I'm doing Victorian bed and breakfast. I'll come on early in the morning to, I think it's around 545 or so to introduce it and then Janet Nash comes on and I'm talking central time um, Janet Nash will come on and Sylvia and usually Tanya streams but she she's not streaming this month she was going to go on vacation but I think her plans changed and uh, Mrs. Gigi is doing a wonderful house that she used the Mrs. Gigi is in our Saturday hop and our theme for August was architecture and she did a house well she's taking that house and putting putting a room in it several rooms in fact it's a little comma alphabet comma and Ann Lar is doing a book, almost a book. She's doing several rooms too with the pop outs. And she's doing an art studio. Her main room is an art studio in the old Confederate Mint in South Carolina. I think it was Columbia, South Carolina. And they. In real life, they converted that into art studios, the old Confederate Mint. And so Anne is doing that. I'm doing Victorian Bed and Breakfast. I think Diana is doing a fairy garden. Sylvia is doing the, the Sea Witch House, if I remember right. Janet is doing, I think Janet's doing a fairy house too. Garden? I can't remember, Janet. I know you did a, you had a tea party out there. I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to make, here, let's put this down you can look at. It. I'm going to have to make some room here to put these postcards to dry. Yeah. I just need a, something across my wastebasket to make a table. Hold the phone. And to put up a spot behind here. There. That should do it. I'll have room for a few more. I need 18 of these. Room for 18 of them. We're just going to continue, continue putting borders on these this morning. And this, this is craft paint. It's a little dry fast. And then I can dress them and stamp them and get them in the mail. And I've got more postcards. Let's see if I can find... I thought I had a stack out over here. Hold the phone. Well, that brushes. I have another stack of them. These aren't postcards per se. These are cards. I'm working on cards. Got a whole stack of cards here that can be sent and I got postcards too. I'm not exactly sure what happened to those. They're here. 
I'm not going to pull my whole desk apart to find them. But I've got them over here on my desk. Some postcards to send. And I've got a base for, I'm making a, a base for postcards that I started that need to be cut and decorated. I've got the background done. And I might do some more owl postcards. Those were fun. I was doing those last year. Might do some more of those, but we'll get these off in the mail first. Let's send out some of this stuff that I've been doing. So I have my brother convinced now to put new flooring in. And we're looking for somebody to come and... I'm still convincing him to paint the kitchen wall. I said, you don't want to put a new floor and not paint the wall. Repaint the wall. It's a hideous green woodwork. I hate the woodwork in there. It was probably done in the 80s when green was a, and it's not even a hunt, hunter green, it's a bright green woodwork. And we had I called two people for estimates. One guy said, I can't come till next spring. And we were thinking that probably in the winter time would be the best time for them to work on it because in the spring, they'll want to be outside working outside. So he didn't even come to give an estimate. To, he didn't even get here. And then the other guy came, gave us an estimate a, a on the spot estimate but he hasn't called me back yet so and he said he couldn't do it until the spring so I want to try to call another guy and see if we can't get our kitchen done while my brother's still agreeable <laughs> and I think this is the time of the year to get it done so I, that's on my plate I'm really liking these now. I think these are going to be fun to send. They're going to be fun to send. But that kitchen floor really needs to be done. It's hard to, it's hard to keep it clean because it's, it's, a, it's a kitchen rug. It's an indoor-outdoor type thing. But it's hard to clean it. And I'd much rather, we're talking putting in vinyl planking, vinyl tile planks. And I think that'll be so much better. And the bathroom. I sneak the bathroom in there. <laughs> you know, he's not, the, my brother's not the one who, who cleans it. It's me who cleans it. He said, if it were up to me, I'd leave it like that for the rest of my life. And I'm going, yeah. You don't have to vacuum it and, and clean it. And I'm still convincing him to do... He doesn't think the walls need to be done. But I went and got some sample paint. And I think I'm going to get another... The same hue, but a little bit lighter shade. And it's kind of like a light gold. Um, not as bright as this. But uh, it's a... I would love to have it done in a, in a French country style. Because it's a big kitchen. It's a big kitchen and it would really look nice. It's got a built-in pantry. It'd look nice done in French country. And I like French country style anyway. And I think he'll be agreeable if I get a little bit lighter 
paint. I got the sample. The samples, the samples I can use in here. Um, you know, I'm just getting sample paint. And what I got for the sample, if we don't use it, I can just use it in here. Paint boxes with it or something. But, and I think I can paint the walls myself. But if you have a professional do it, is that much less for you? If I lived here alone, which I probably will not be here alone, I don't, this is too much house for me to take care of by myself. But if I lived here alone, I'd paint it myself. And I'd take our dining room and make it into a living room, because we don't dine in there. He uses the table as his desk, which is okay with me, but I'm just saying we don't eat in there. And I'd make that into the living room and take the living room, which is right off this little den area, and make it a extend my studio into the living room. That's what I would do. But the house is too much house for me to take care of at my age. Something goes wrong with it. If I were younger, yeah, maybe. And I'm not following chat. Let me come out and look at and see what's going on. Every now and then I'll glance over there and see what's going on. Let me put some centers in here. Yes, I'm loving them. All right, let's wipe off my brush a little. Let's look at chat. What's going on in chat? Is Suze here? Hi, Suze. She said, hello, friends. I'm lurking. I was up all night. I understand, Suze. I did get some sleep last night. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Let me have a sip of tea. I don't sleep as sound as I used to, but I don't think I'm as tired. I don't think that I, I'm, I'm tired when I mow the lawn because I'm active, but uh, I don't get as tired as I used to physically. So I don't think, I think that's one reason why I'm awake a lot at night. Arlene says paint. And Nebraska winters don't play well together, even though it's warm in the customer's houses and warm in the painter's house. The paint has to get from one to the other. Yeah, but in the fall, in the fall, I'm not talking about painting in December and January. I'm talking about September, October, maybe November, depending on the weather. But come spring and summer, It'll be, oh, it's too hot, or I have to do workouts. There's always a reason. There's always an excuse. <laughs> There's always an excuse. Thank you, Janet. Sylvia says, oh, sending you healing and comforting vibes, Suze. Yeah, Suze, let me, let me put some sanitizer on my hands. Angie is here. Mrs. Gigi said good morning. Sylvia's here. Arlene says, I'm hungry. I'm going to go get food. <laughs> Arlene put another link to the Time for Art playlist. Uh, starts tomorrow morning. Janet Nash is kicking it off. Sylvia says, yes, Mary, I'm doing, and I'm going to butcher the name. Yamana? 
Yamana, Y-E-M-A-N-J-A, the Sea Witch House. Tomorrow, it's her magical and sacred room. Our fourth art Saturday coming up in September is going to be, I believe it's going to be on teachers. Teachers. Just to let you know, I don't, we don't have an announcement up yet, but my goodness, that'll be just a couple weeks from now, the fourth art Saturday. And that's a video hop. That's not a live stream hop. I think this red around the around the border here is just enough to give it a, a little touch of autumn. I might have to put some more red out on my paper here. Jersey there's Jersey Jersey creator good morning Jersey Laura she says good morning Mary and all in chat I hope we're all well Cole and I are snuggled up and decided to pop over and say goodbye uh, hello <laughs> I said goodbye I don't know what I was thinking hello Jersey hi Cole good morning Cole are you homeschooling, Cole? I think you are, aren't you, Laura? Are you folks homeschooling, Cole? They're saying good morning. Jersey says, Arlene, how are you? I think of you every day as your art is in our hallway. Aw, oh, thank you, Mina. I did these, I started these postcards, gosh, it's been a couple years ago. And I didn't like the sunflower. And uh, I've repainted the sunflower a couple times. And I'm finally happy with it. I'm finally happy with them. And I think that I can send these out after they dry. I've got the back all done. I might run some gold or something along the back, but we'll, we'll, we'll let them dry first. I gotta find room. Room, room, I need room. I'm not gonna put it up here. How many do I have left? Got quite a few left. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Feels like I've done 10 million of these this morning. I'm going to put the lid back on this paint and dump it out on the, it's easier to pour out of the spout here. Tomorrow Jersey says, tomorrow is my sister's friend's wedding at the Swedish Museum in Philly. I'm going to get photos for you. Hi, Ami. Good morning, Ami. Says, my eyes are still fuzzy. <laughs> Ami's just walking, waking up. Good 
Jersey says, Janet, we are so inspired with your echo die. We got all the things together yesterday to do it. And then it rained. <laughs> I need to use the grill. Aw. I'm, I guess I missed Janet's echo dying. I missed a lot already this week. I was going to watch Janet on Monday morning and Dee Dee on Wednesday, and I didn't watch either one of them. I missed Becky. I missed watching Lisa. My life has been in a... Been busy. And when I'm not busy, I'm tired. I seem to have more energy early in the morning, like now, and uh, late at night. I seem to, in the afternoon and in the evenings, I seem to lose my energy. I, I just need the uh, rest. But I guess that's because I'm up early in the morning and late at night. So it seems to be my hours. Janet Nash is saying good morning. Jersey said, Janet, I thought uh, I thought of the kitchen, but then I read a blog, blog and it said be careful with small animals and kids to boil some things. And I did not know the names of all that I picked. Janet says, Mary, you can't do everything. <laughs> That's true, Janet, uh, uh, and uh, you think I'd learn my lesson. I hop from one thing to another, and that's why I just need to slow down a little and get some of these things, like these postcards, done. And, yeah, you guys know my story. I'm not going to bore you with it again, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Jersey said to me, we are well. My buddy Andrew is here. He ended up getting COVID, but he's okay. His mother has immune, immunocompromised body, so it was a miracle he was here with us when it happened. I think Lysia, Jersey, Lysia told us that she and her husband and her grandson Cameron all got that COVID. I think it was the variant. Uh, I don't know if it was the the COVID or the variant, or if there's even a difference. Ami says, Arlene, your projects are beautiful. Hi, Tina's messy, crafty life. Good morning. Welcome, 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 Tina. And there's Carol. Hi, Carol. Good morning, Carol. Whispering Cauldron. Arlene says, I have the most energy between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. I've always been that way. Yeah, I used to work the night shift, the midnight shift. So that might have a lot to do with it. Um, I used to work from 12 o'clock to 7 nursing home and you would think that working those hours in a nursing home that they'd all be asleep you'd think it would be easy but no you've got to you've got to keep them dry you got to pe keep people dry so every every couple hours you're you're either changing beds or or taking them to the bathroom or 
or whatever. And then when morning hits around between 5.30 and 7, you're getting them up, getting them dressed, making beds. Ah, I'm glad those days are over with for me. I'm glad those days are over with. Pretty soon I'll be in a home. <laughs> if I ever have to go to a nursing home, I'm just going to say, just give me a, a piece of, a pad of paper and a pen and a pencil and I'll be fine. Of course, then I'll want paint and <laughs> magazines to cut up. My room will be a mess. Of course, I probably will not have a private room because I probably will not be able to afford that. So my half room will be a mess. And the housekeeper will come in and say, you can't have all that in here. <laughs> I can't keep it clean. I'll say, don't throw out my trash. <laughs> That's my art. I'm practicing. I'm practicing for the future arguments here. Well, they'll say, they've got an occupational therapy room. That's where you should be doing all this. Yeah, but I can't go down there at 12 o'clock at night when I'm awake. Open it up and let me in. Yeah. They're saying good morning to Mitzi, to Arlene. Jersey says, Mary, if you ever go to anywhere to live, you will be running the art program in two days flat. <laughs> uh, I probably will find the occupational therapy room pretty fast. Uh, I like to read a lot. So, you know, give me some books. And like even our little nursing home down here in Harvard, they have, uh, they have, they're all online. So if you have a phone, of course, you know, it's a public server. I don't know if you could get your private, you'd have to have a private room probably to have a dish, a private dish. But if you have Verizon, if you have Verizon, you could go, go online with just using your unlimited data and uh, I could probably stream if I was there but I'd probably have to stream from the public server which I probably wouldn't mind and then when I'm in my room and whatever just use my phone data but they might take my they might say you can't have your own phone anymore. You can't pay the bill. You have to pay us. You have to pay us first. <laughs> I think I'm a long way from that. But I do think about it. I do think about it. You know? You start to think about those things when you get older. But if something happens to my brother, I'll probably, I'll probably live in a little apartment around here someplace find myself they're not too expensive around here the little apartments not like in Madison and in the smaller towns the apartments are even cheaper if you can find them but you know they they're not luxury apartments either but we're not I'm not living in a luxury house here you know we don't have central air we got window air conditioners I'm not going to worry about it I'm not going to cross that bridge until it I come to that bend in the road how many have I done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9, 10 11 
I should just have about seven left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just painting the red lines around here does not take too long. The nursing home here, Arlene says, doesn't allow the patients to have cell phones. Oh, wait a minute. Why can't they have cell phones? Oh. And does not offer Wi-Fi. It's awful. The patients are totally cut off. I wouldn't want to be in a place like that. You should at least be able to have your own phone. You know, a lot of patients in a lot of nursing homes, even before cell phones came into popular use, patients would have their own phone in their room. And I think that's... I don't think I would want to be in a home that didn't let me have my own phone. That's almost... I don't know, maybe it's for because the phones get lost or stolen or whatever, but I don't know. Arlene, it is the same, Jersey says, in many group homes for people like my friend Andrew. Thank God he's home now. He was in a home in Florida for a small time. Oh, I'm not sure I would like that at all. Our little, our nursing home down here lets people have phones. A couple of ladies are on them all the time. I guess we're, we're small, but I guess that's the advantage of it. The nursing home here is owned by the city, owned and operated by our little town. It's not a private it's all it's on it's operated by the city not that interesting well I got seven left I think I can put them up here or start putting them up there six left Bootsy says my mother-in-law was in an assisted living we had to take her phone she would call 911, the director, and so many other people. Well, yeah, I can understand if, you know, if there's a problem, I can understand. But, I don't know if I'd want anybody taking my phone. <laughs> I mean, I'm on that phone all the time. They're not taking my phone away from me. If they do, I'll, I'll run away. <laughs> They'll send the police out after me. It, it probably depends on the situation. I think if they're able to have a phone, they should be allowed to. Now, I wouldn't say that all of the residents here have phones. I know one lady did because she was on it. She was on it. And I don't blame her one bit. It's almost a connection to your outside world. Anymore, you, can, you read books and... You know, you go on Facebook, you, um, well, social media, just because you're in a, in a home, unless you're, you know, unless you're incapacitated or otherwise an issue, but a lot of people are just there because they can't be in their own home anymore. 
they're not there's nothing wrong with them they just need a place oh, I'm loving that I'm loving them I'm gonna keep one for me I'll mail one back to me I've gotta find places to put them though to dry probably some of the first ones I can see if they're dry enough to I think I'm gonna outline the back of them not with paint with a marker Angie says the assistant living across the street doesn't do nothing for them if they ask for second help, helpings of food, they tell them they can't have it. And lunch ladies and guys carry boxes of food that's left. Oh, that's, that's bad. See, that would be, I'm not sure that they could get away with that in our state. I mean, you can report stuff like that. Um... I'm not sure that they could get away with that in Nebraska. That would be reported so fast to the state, state, uh, whoever, I want to say the health department, but I'm not sure that's the people that regulate the nursing homes. But it would be, I would report it real fast. You'd have to prove it. It'd have to be investigated. Probably wouldn't be too hard to send somebody in there to get a job. There's all, all sorts of jobs open now. And I was reading in the paper the one ads. I'm going, ooh, if I were if I were ten years younger, if I were twenty years younger, I would be applying really fast because there's because of the shortage, because of COVID there's a shortage of, of people to work in these homes. And they there's an ad in the paper, it's a staffing agency, and they're paying their nurse aides $30 an hour for nurse aiding. Now, uh, and nurses, the RNs and the RNs are getting like $60 an hour for, for staffing to go in and, you know, it's temporary. But you probably get pretty full hours. You would probably get pretty full hours because there's such a shortage. Now, I used to work when I went to school for a temporary agency up in Omaha for a while. Uh, I, worked, I worked in the homes just because I needed something to do, too. I, the extra money helped, but... I had the experience and I didn't have any trouble getting work. Six, but $30 an hour for nurse aides? That's pretty good wages. That's real good wages here in Nebraska. Nebraska traditionally is not a high... They don't pay high wages for... Well, maybe for the nurses, but for nurse aides, my, my my jaw dropped open when I read that. But here again, it was a temporary agency. And you have to go where they send you when you work someplace like that. I guess you could refuse an assignment, but if you refuse too many assignments, they don't assign anymore. I have to say, I think the smaller towns, now, a lot of the small towns around here have lost their nursing homes, like um, the town closest to where my parents lived, they closed, and then the town about eight miles away, they closed their nursing home because they weren't finding the, the, the in the, well gosh, they closed in the 80s and 90s. 
I wasn't here when they closed. The nursing home that I worked in when I was in high school was run by Mennonites, and it closed. The, the home I worked in, in up in Lincoln when I was going to the university, it's, it was run by Catholics, and it's still open, and it's become a rehabilitation center. It's doing well. I grew up working in the nursing homes. That was my, when you work, when you live in a smaller town, if you're not working in the fields, you're you're looking for a job, something like that, to make extra money. I worked in the nursing homes when I went to high school, my junior and senior year. I can still remember, I still remember the people. I remember the residents. I remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember going to the funeral of one of the residents as the first funeral that I went to. I led a pretty sheltered life. I was in high school. I remember going to the funeral. Just to, just to go. See what it was all about, what they did at funerals. <laughs> oh dear, such was life back then. But the little, the nursing home here, they do it in where I'm living now, where my brother lives. It's open. They do, they do okay. It's run by this the city though the little town operates it. Alrighty, I'm getting there. I am getting there. I just got a couple left. I'm covering up all my art projects. I might have to move a couple of these to move on to my next project here. That one's going to fall on the floor if I'm not careful. I just have two left. Let's see what you guys are talking about. We're talking about nursing homes this morning. Jersey says, my best friend's mom lives in a home after a stroke a few years ago. And with the COVID restrictions, she hasn't been able to hug her mom since 2020. Oh man, and that, that's horrible. I, you know, you should be able to hug your mom. I march in there and hug her. Jersey says, as kids, we used to make cards and deliver them to their nursing homes. I have an old newspaper clipping my mother gave me in sixth grade, giving a woman a, a hundred day birthday card. Aww. What did Angie say? The assistant living across the street. Oh, and then she says, that is leftover home to feed their family. That's not right. Yeah, that's not right. These people pay for that food as much money that they have to pay to stay there. Hi, JL. Good morning. Department on Aging. Yes, JL. That was what I was thinking of. Riri went off to lurk. Jersey said it's a challenge to find good folks to care for the elderly. Well, I think we do have that advantage in, like, the home that, I worked in when I was in high school was run by Mennonites and you know because of their religious background 
you did not find a lot of abuse. They really, uh, they took care of their, their residents. And I'm not sure exactly why it closed down. It closed down when I was, I was, well, I think I was out of college by that time, but I was, I was doing other things. I'm not sure exactly why they closed. Um, and then when I was at the university, I worked part-time. Like I said, the home was run by Catholics, the Catholic Church. And just the fact that they are affiliated with religion, I think they give a little bit better care. Not all of them, probably. I mean, you can't say just because it's a church supported that it's going to be a better home. You can't say that. And we had a good Samaritan here that I, I'm not sure that it's affiliated with the Lutheran anymore. I'm not sure if they still had that affiliation, but I think they used to be affiliated with the Lutheran Church, the Good Samaritan. Just even the name of it is religious, you know, Good Samaritan. So they give a little bit better care, but now the home here, the, the uh, nursing home here is run by the city. It's not run by a church, and I think they give pretty good care. So, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the administrator and in the smaller towns. I hate to say, I do think in the smaller towns, you tend to get better care. That's not a guarantee, but where am I going to put this? Help, I'm running out of space. I guess up in here. Will it fit up in there? No, let's put it down here. Let's squish this. I've only got one more. I've only got one more. Now the home that my mother, my mother lived with me uh, when I was still working in Iowa. She lived with me for almost three years, but she had progressive dementia and it was getting so bad I could not take care of her and work. And uh, we eventually put her in a home. My brother, my younger brother took care of that. And uh, it was run also by Mennonites, but it's closed now too. I don't, I'm not sure why. And that home, when, when she first went in there, they had all these dolls. Dolls! Um, in the hallway, up on shelving, up on top of the... And the fire department made them take them down. Said it was a fire hazard. Which I thought was... Pooey. But I guess it's true. I mean, you know, you can't have a fire hazard when you have a lot of people and the fire department says take them down. So then they were beautiful dolls. I think somebody donated them. And it was so sad to see them all come down. And then they got birds. Birds! Birds are pretty tip. Birds in aquariums are pretty typical. Uh, attractions in the nursing homes in the main living area provides a and I remember my mom I went to visit my mom and she talked she'd go right up to the cage of that bird and she would put her finger there and taunt that bird and you know talk to it and you know, go, Mom, it's going to peck you. No, 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 you know. She liked that bird. There we go. Last one. Let's wash out my brush. My mom was a little lady. She was a, she could be quite a handful. <laughs> but I could not take care of her. I took care of her. I had her with me for about three years. 
but it just got so bad she needed 24-hour care and I could not do that and work and nobody was going to pay my rent for me a standard nursing shift in the hospital by my home is 12 hours really oh that's 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 pushing it 12 hours I guess if you only work a four-day week, 12 hours is okay. But, you know, it, it, nursing and nurse assistant, too, you're on your feet all day long. You're running there. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're making beds. You're, uh, you know, caring for... And that's not just one person. You have a team of, like, four or five people. And... You're tired after an eight-hour day. I don't know if I would do 12-hour shifts. I don't know if I could do that. You're tired after eight hours. All right, where am I going to... Oh, those days are over with for me, though. I'm retired. Let's smear this in my dictionary if I can get it out and I've got stuff on top of it I'm getting there I don't know what I'm going to do next I might see if some of these first postcards that I painted are dry and do the borders. Oh, it's sitting there holding on to this, wondering where I'm going to put it. Right here, I think. All right. We're going to smear this paint in my book. Uh, and I'm not going to waste my two gobs of paint. Find a good page to smear it on. Oh, my dictionary is upside down. Oh, look, I got a stencil. Let's do a little stenciling on this. Find a page to... And I'm not going to zoom out. I'm not going to zoom out because I'm going to do some other things here. Let's see. Let's stencil's bent here. Is it bent? There we go. Stencil made out of paper. Let's just. But all of that said about homes, if the time comes, if the time comes, I'm not going to give my family, I don't want to be a burden on my, on my family. Like if I would have a, a stroke or something even now, you know, it's possible. I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken. And, uh. If I would have to be put in a home, I'd go pretty willingly, I think. I, I would rather, I'd rather do that than be a burden. I'd probably want to try to take care of myself, but, you know, as much as sometimes as you want to, the ability to is another story. So I think I would probably, I would probably go. And pray. Pray an awful lot that, you know, just pray.
like I said, give me a pad of paper and a pencil and point me to the occupational therapy room where I can sit and draw, read, watch TV, or be on my phone. <laughs> Uh, that I would probably have the best fight if they took away my phone. Uh, I, you know, I would probably be putting up a kick about that. Let's push this up a little. I wanted to cut some watching Rosemary do her stencils the other day with those African women. Women, I was thinking how fun it would be to cut some. I might try to look for some designs, see what I can find. Some photos out there and do my own. African stencils. I don't know if they'd be women. But even if you cut them out of paper like this for temporary for the caboodle, I'm going to put it up here. Let's put it right there. Oh, this is, stencil's getting kind of wet. I'd probably find an old dictionary in a nursing home or maybe a run down to the library and grab a book, a novel, and start altering it. Harry, you're tearing up our library books. Oh, nobody was reading it anyway. I'm just, I've got this craving to do art, and I don't have any paper, so... <laughs> Oh dear. I thought I saw another stencil in here. Did I see another one that I did? Guess not. This is all, I think I can close this. Close it. Ooh, maybe on here. We'll do some stenciling. Let's turn it over. I think I cut this stencil when I was doing one of Becky's. Because I remember that petal there got too close together. Maybe her first summertime journal. We cut some stencils, I think. This is what you do after you scrape paint on these. You go back in with stenciling and...
you play on these pages and then you use them for collaging oops did that get no that's good My stencil's getting too wet. Penelope, you're gonna fall. Uh, I don't have a place for. Just about have all the paint used up. My stencil's pretty wet. A paper. I cut it out of cardstock. Gosh, how long have I played in this dictionary? I've played in it an awful lot. And I still have pages. And I've taken pages out. I'm hoping to be able to get these, these two pages done. I think I will. Won't be perfect. One more. One more. Down in here. There we go. There we go. All right. So I'm going to keep this stencil, but I'm going to throw the sponge in the... Yoo. So, uh, let me put this over here on the floor. And let me wash my hands off a little. Oh, you're looking at blank paper again. Sorry about that. But now my hands are wet with... Here, I'll wash my hands in front of you. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I'm going to leave this stencil out and let it dry. So let's check a couple of these first ones. I think that it's dry. My hands already have red marks on them. I think that's dry enough that I can turn it over. And let's see. Let me see what I have here. I thought I had my gold marker out. I've got a pink one. And let me look. I've got the black ones. Oh. You don't want to see behind me about now. Let's see what's in this bag. I've got a bag of markers here. I had these out the other day. I do the blue, maybe this darker blue here, or green, or black.
orange, blue, black, where's the green? Green. I got a darker green. I thought I had a darker green. I guess not. Let's see if I can't put a border on these. I don't think the pink will be good. And I think it's a fine... No, it's a... Well, it's not bad. Let's, let's check out the green. Green's dry. Probably have to throw that one away. Blue is pretty good. Let's go with the blue. I get tired of doing black all the time. Or let's try the orange. Orange doesn't show up. All right, we're gonna go with the blue and the black. Probably the blue. Got another green one in here. This is a Artesia marker. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Let's use that. This is one of those Artesia chalk markers. And all I'll have to do is put stamps on here and write a message. And I think I can pretty well stack these up. I think these are dry. They dry pretty fast. cards done. They aren't ones that I did yesterday, but they're getting done. They're going to get mailed out. They will get mailed out. I'll have to address them. I miss Dee Dee. I need to go back and watch Dee Dee's Dee Dee's stream. I see she streamed Wednesday. I didn't catch whether or not she streamed Monday. Was she on on Monday? And did she do a Society of Idea Collector weekly idea? I need to go back and check that stuff. Mina says, oops, time for buttered toast and more tea. And bringing in the newspaper. Yeah, my brother brings in the newspaper. He'll be getting up here pretty soon. He goes out that squeaky front door. Our front door is, it's been so hot and humid here, the wood expands. And, uh, it's hard. To, that door squeaks a lot. <laughs> it's hard to open and close it. It'll cool off a little and then it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it with the green on the back of it. I'm not so sure I like to like this. That green just adds to it. 
oops, that one had the spots on the center spots. Were these dry? These were dry. That's just a little, it's all right. I could use gold, but I think don't think the gold would show up as nice as the darker greens and blues. I want to try something on this one. Let's go. Not that pen. That's my Sharpie. Let's try this one. No, that's blue. <laughs> this one. Let's put another border. I think I like it. A kind of a double border here. Yeah, I've got some bird ones I need to send and some butterfly ones that I made. Postcards. I think I made some um, lady ones that I stamped. Yeah, they're sitting around here someplace. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better. It doesn't take long to do this stuff. I think this was one of my carving, my erasers, the edges. I carved on the edge of the eraser. And then I think I went in and drew around my carving. Kind of like it now that it's all framed off. Didn't so much like it when it was not framed. Got 18 of these that I'm going to send out. Well, one comes to me. So 17 of you in my address books will be getting a postcard. I think I have something like 140 addresses. Which makes me think I better start it. But I did those Penelope snow globes for last year. And I sent them off and uh, four by six photos that I was going to make postcards out of them. And I never got it done. Yep. Typical Mary. But I could send them off this year. I'm liking these. Let's continue on. Is this one dry? We'll finish doing the green and come back and do the black. If the center dots are dry, I know the rest of it is dry. Oops. 
Do, 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 do. Let's just gather some of these. And I'll make sure that they're dry. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Reach. So let's count them here. Make sure I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have them all. Oh, this one doesn't have a because this is the one I put as post ball. This will be the one I send to myself. I don't have decoration on it. I was talking and Barb Fillion was in here and she said, what is post ball? I repainted it. Let's see, what do I have out here? Uh, Stamp-wise. Do I have a little stamp out here? Oops. No, I think I put them in my... Hold the phone. This one will be a little different. This one will come back to me. Let's stamp. So I stamp on here. Chain. I could do the chain or the leaves. Here I got some leaves. We'll do the leaves. Uh, need some ink. Ink, ink, ink. Come on. Sure, it stamps. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm going to do some more stamp carving. I won't have much room to put my address there, but I don't need much room for myself. I'll just leave it like that. And let's draw a line down here and just put a couple of... That's good. Now let's just do the, oops, I didn't put the cap back on that.
Oh, this one will come back to me. It's a little different. ink away. By golly, I might get these sent out even. It won't, they won't go out today, but I'll try to get them addressed this afternoon. I don't know, we've got some yard work that needs to be done yet. Whenever I work out in the yard, I come in and I have to take a shower, take a nap before I go out there. Just got a few left here. My pen is getting a little dry. I think I'll put the cap on that and let it stand vertical for a little bit. Go do the black around the knees. I've got what left? One, two, five left. Let's do these. I have to have my brother get me some postcard stamps today. I have some. I think Gail sent me some for Christmas ones. But I want to use those for Christmas. And yeah, I think the postage went up on postcards. But I think they're forever, aren't they? I think they're forever stamps. I'll have to check. I don't know if postcard stamps are forever ones. I think they are, though. This is your regular postcard stamp. This is the one that's coming back to me.
That's a big old sunflower. It's pretty cool. I like some of these. I have to say, I like them. I didn't like them so much when I, when I, when I do these and they're not done yet, sometimes I just, you know, I, I don't like them, so I set them aside. But if you keep working on them, like by the time I'm finished, like here, I'm liking them. Uh, I like this back a lot better as compared to these backs. See, it just frames it off. Yes. Yes. All right. So we got to do the green on these yet. Where's my cap to this? See if that helped get any more of my green down the to the tip. Finish these off. Yeah, it's a little juicier. It was getting dry, and I just put the cap back on it and stood it up vertically. Let some of that paint drain down. Helps it. I've got five here that I need to do. These are Artesia chalk markers. Uh, Annie V sent these to me, I think. I think these came from Annie V. I'm not completely sure. I forget. People send me stuff and it gets all mixed up in there and I forget who sent me what. I was working on that house roll. And Lucia says, oh, I recognize that paper. I thought it, maybe it was Shannon Green's. It was Lucia's. So once, once I mix that stuff up, like painting papers and ink pens, unless it's something specific like those watercolors I had out, those Daniel Smiths, I forget who sent me what. And I keep saying I'm going to make a, a list when I open stuff, but I never get that done either. It's getting dry again. There we go. Just needed a little, it needed a little, let's go back on this one. It needed a little push down. One more after this and we'll be done. With the green. I need to put black around them and then we'll be done with all of them. Eighteen of them, and one comes to me. All right, where's that green cap? 
I had it out here. Where did it roll off to? Come on. I had that green cap out here. Did it roll off on the floor? There it is. Hiding under my cup. These aren't bad for this type of work. These are Tisha markers. This is a metallic chalk marker. Not bad for this type of work. And I like these marks a lot too. They're a little bit more expensive, but they last long and they're a nice permanent ink. I don't generally buy these. I usually go for the Pen Plus gear, which is pretty nice too. But these were on sale at that liquidation store when the store liquidated and I bought a lot of them. As many as I could get my hands on. And I'm still using them. I'm liking these. I'm trying to think what message I could put on here, just maybe just hello. Maybe. Maybe just a hello. One word. So I can't put much in there. And then by the time I put my address up here and sign it there, put the return address there. Did I do mine? Did it get caught in here? of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. There it is. Eight. Eleven. 
Seventeen and eighteen. So there's that. Now, I'm not quite done. I'm going to put my signature in here. And the date, let's put it as nine. Nine 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 twenty twenty one, and then I'll put my address up there, write it real small, and put the return address there. Probably not with this, with a depending on how big the address is, with a darker marker. So let's go do this nine nine twenty twenty one. And I'll be more apt to get these mailed out if I do this now. You know, and I was going to sign these. Isn't this exciting to watch? <laughs> this is kind of the boring stuff, but I'm more apt to get it done if I do it right here in front of you guys. There's only 18 of them. I'm more apt to get them done, get them sent out. Now I'll make a list of who I send these to and when I send out my second batch I'll send them to different people because I got more that need to be sent out not sunflower I got some birds and butterfly ones I think we'll get them sent out 
by the time I get all that done, it'll be Christmas. And when I'm doing this, I'm not watching much chat because I want to get them done. Now, knowing the post office, they'll put this, I'll put the stamp on there. And sometimes they put a barcode down here. But I've seen postcards come back to me with nothing. I don't even know how they know if it was canceled or not. I suppose they have a ultra sensor or something that tells you. is the one that's coming back to me. Eighteen of them! them. Just by doing this now will be that much less that I have to do when I address them. Three more. Three more and the boring stuff is done.
I'm getting hungry. I think I have some English muffins in there that can be eaten. I think I'll have an English muffin with orange marmalade on it. This morning for breakfast. Last one. Last one. Alrighty. There they be. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. And then I'll come out and chat. Alrighty. This might be my thumbnail. We'll see. Let's just put them out here. I should probably come down here a little bit more. kind of fun to see them all together, isn't it? I have to take a picture of this because once you send them, once you send them, they're not all together anymore. I might have to move my camera up a little. Okay, I'm going to get 15 of them. Well, I think I could get the other three over here if I move some of this stuff. Now, I'm going to grab onto my camera and lift it up a little. So, hold on. If I can zoom out a little bit more. Hold on. And lift it up higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. And, whoops, hold it, I gotta move my hand. Higher, higher, higher. I can't go any higher, that's as high as I can go. But I can't see if it's straight, I'm jiggling it. All right, let's hold it there. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 
Okay. Bring it back down. Put it back on the stand. Thank you for your patience. I could do all of this after I turn off the video, but... Oh, how fun was that? So these will go out sometime. Well, this is Thursday. If they don't go out by Saturday, they'll go out by Monday. <laughs> uh, I doubt that I get them all addressed today and tomorrow. If they don't go out Saturday, they'll go out Monday. Woo! That was fun. All right, they're ready to go. Hey, Becky, I'm right there with you with postcards. Ha <laughs> ha. I got some more to send. I got more to send. So eventually I get them done. All right. So let me come out and chat a little. Let me take the phone off the cord. Let's get Penelope out because she's tottering over here. Let's set Penelope out here. Set my cards out here. Get my laptop out. My map, the tablet. No idea. Probably giving Koa's medicine. Hi, Journey. Uh, me. I asked you if Laura left. Oh. Uh, she might have. Laura's a busy lady. Aw, oh, thank you, Lori. Hi, pink girly. Aw, oh, thank you, Suze. Aw, oh, thank you, Ruth. Aw, oh, thank you, Mina. Looks like a quilt, Angie says. Angie says, my chat's not moving. <laughs> That's because nobody was chatting, Angie. Nobody was chatting. Let me have a sip of tea. It was just Mary talking at you. Aw, oh, thank you, Journey. Hi, Brittany. Aw, oh, thank you. I didn't like this coffee either until I added milk and sugar. <laughs> I always add half and half, and I like that um, tortini hazelnut flavoring. English muffins do sound good, don't they? Angie said she doesn't like coffee. Brittany says I have caramel apple pie flavored coffee. Oh, yummy. Mark, was Mark in here? Mark, was Mark in here? Wait, Angie's here. Angie, Angie. There is Mark. Ah, oh, he's probably gone. Hi, Mark. Mark Mirror. We don't see much of him anymore, do we? Mark, Mark, Mark. We're going to have to get you, get you in one of our hops get you doing some more art mr mark i hope he's out there 18 of them <laughs> yeah mark there are 18 of them i miss saying hello to mark Brittany says i probably have some postcards at home somewhere and i can measure how big they are they're probably the ones sizes you mentioned Generally, postcards are five and a half by three and a half, I believe, or close to that for the minimum regular size. I think these are, well, I think these are three and a half by five and a half. It, because I can get 18 of them on a large sheet of, this is watercolor paper. 18 by 24 piece of watercolor paper. I can get about 18 postcards out of them. There's where Mark came in, and I missed him. How big do you make the postcards, Mary? Yeah, I think the standard size is three and a half by five and a half. Sometimes I make them four by six, just depending on what size of paper I'm working on. Yeah, Google says a U.S. postcard can be anywhere between 3.5 by 5 and 4.25 by 6. Yeah. Yep, those are 
pretty I make mine like 3.5 and five and a half generally generally is what I do sometimes I make four by sixes Roy said my last video was last week on Mary's fourth art video hop I'm backed up on house repairs and some child care when camp ended. I'm also rearranging my craft space. <laughs> I think what Roy is saying is he won't be doing a September teacher hop. Oh, and that's too bad because didn't Roy used to teach? Roy, you need to do the September hop. <laughs> Let's just pressure him. Oh. Ami says, I haven't seen a vid from you, Roy. Are you slacking? Oh, I, I see. He's just answering Ami. He said the last video he did was the, the architecture hop. He did a, the theme was architecture, and I think he did a grant, Granny's Attic uh, quilt square, quilt block. And... Uh, did you make a bag out of it, Roy, or put it on a bag? I can't remember what you did with it, but he, he, he's got good teaching skills. Do, 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 do. Brittany says, what size is a postcard? We've already talked about that. I'm bouncing from room to room and my phone to tablet. I feel as if I have two personalities. <laughs> oh dear Roy how many postcards there's 18 of them 18 postcards Allie Kay says hi everyone I know Mary's probably been on for a long time but better late than never I come on at 430 I try to get on at 430 and stream until about 9 on Tuesday and Thursdays but I missed yesterday or Tuesday. I missed Tuesday. And then on Sundays, I come on at 6 o'clock, and I've been trying to leave at 10. Uh, if I get on a little bit later, like, why did I get on later last Sunday? I can't remember. I was on a little bit later last Sunday. I can't remember. Do, 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 do. Kathleen? Kathleen Kelly was here. Hi, Kathleen. You're probably gone by now, but this is where Jersey is. She says, I love that people still read the newspaper. We do, too. It's such a fun... Yeah, so, you know, we read our... My brother has a subscription to our daily paper. Um, he likes to read the... He, he likes to work the Daily Crosser puzzle, and we both read the comic section. I'll read the paper with a critical eye at the news and everything. But we, you know, we like to read the local news. Keep in touch with what's going on around our region. The, the national news I read with a grain of salt. <laughs> Laura says, oh, oh, Angie says, Laura, yes, call comes first. Take care of my nephew. I know what he's going through. Ethan was sent home last Friday from school because he was exposed to C-19. But he's at his new home. Arlene had to leave. She says it's her bedtime. <laughs> uh, she gave a link to the community tab before she left. Jersey says, and me, we'll see what the day brings. So far, it is a kid with a headache and a fever. Aww. Arlene says, I had a dictionary, but since I have so many books to paint in, I mail dictionary pages to everyone in the Phibsville address file and some that weren't. Uh, use up the paint. Jersey says, I miss doing my art with you all very much. Who knows? We're definitely home today, so maybe I can find a minute to hop on. I hope so. We miss you, Jersey. 
but you know life happens you got to take care of your kid Bootsy says hi journey that's scary I'm a wanderer but deliberate but my kids joke that they want to take me to the veterinarian <laughs> to get chipped <laughs> oh dear Ami says, I miss my art time with Jersey. This is where Jersey came in. My mother-in-law used all her life savings on a nursing home. And then she had to file for Medicaid. She had Alzheimer's and would try to run away. That's what I'm going to do, especially if they take my phone. I'm going to run away. If they won't let me have my phone, I don't care how insane I am. Out of my mind, I'm going to run away. And I have to have pen and paper. So, oh, what I was going to do, I've got about 45 minutes. Let's go to, let's go to Unsplash. See what I can find here on Unsplash. Let's go to my browser. Unsplash is a free photo site, or royalty free, would you say. You want to credit people if you use it, but. I don't think that it's a requirement. They put their photos out there for for people to use. It's always nice if you credit the photographer. Oh, I'm at random org. Let's see. Let's see if I can go to unsplash here. U N S P L A S H dot com go and I'm going to type in A F R I C A N I'm going to type in women see if I can't find Something to convert into a stencil like what Rosemary was doing. Only I'm going to have to cut my own stencils. African women. Let's see what comes up. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool photograph. Aww. I want some life size. Whoops. That's pretty. There, now. And they are all looking at the back. I kind of like that. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back one. Let's go back in again, African women. This one I like, but let's see what else is here. I want some, these are just some nice photos. I want a full body one. I love these. These would make nice portraits. Here we go. That one might work. But I want their feet. You cut their feet off. <laughs> You're worse than Mary cutting off feet. She's pretty, but see, they don't have her feet. I want her feet. I want a full body one. I'm looking for a good one to use. Oh. You see, they don't give the full body. That one's kind of cool. Uh.
Come on, give me some full figure ones. I'm waiting. What happened here? Woman in white and red plaid dress wears black hat. I, I don't see anything. It hasn't come through. Huh. Well... I want some full figure ones. I don't know why they don't show any full figures. Well, there's a full figure. She's seated. Full figure. Here we go. There's kind of interesting. Well, I guess I'm going to have to imagine the full figure. face. There's, a, there's some pretty ones in there. Here we go. But see, they hide there. Maybe I can get an idea. I kind of like this one. Save image. This one was done by Ian, Ian, I-A-N, Ian Machiria, M-A-C-H-A-R-I-A. I, -A. I kind of like her, her, gar her dress there, and I might just imagine it coming down. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, that's cool, but I want more of a traditional African dress. A lot of portraits, interesting portraits. Looking at a laptop. Well, so far I've found one. I kind of like the ones right at the top where they had the backs to us. This one's loading. She's pretty. Not a full figure, though. Girl power. Oh! Um. This would be a good place to come if you were looking for for your caboodle for more African women. For the caboodles, there's a lot of really nice photos in here. Unsplash.com. And all I did was scan for African women. That's a nice photo. I'm looking for full figures. Ooh. Now I like these. I'd have to, they're cut off their feet. What are they wearing, sandals or shoes or? See, they cut off their feet. I wish they wouldn't cut their feet off. I'm going to say, where did it go? Oh, I want to go back one. No. There we go. 
go. It was this one I wanted to save. It doesn't... Oh! Maybe I can go back. I lost it. Let's look at my history. Maybe I can get back there. Where's my history? History. History. Try that one. I think that's the one. Ooh, no. I lost it. I lost it. Well, let's go to the one I did. Well, maybe I could get that one. No, this one. This and they got all the but see I get their feet on here. Let's this is done by Ken K A H I R L. Let's save this one. Uh, save image. I think I saved it. Let's go back to my library. See if I save these. Yeah, downloads. So I've saved two of them. Let's see if I can find. I want to find some that I can sketch from that. Uh, and I got out of. Let's see if I can just zoom. It has to catch up with me. Yeah. I've seen all of these. I lost my place. Well, she's kind of, at least she's full figure, but she doesn't, she's not really... Not really what I'm wanting. I was at one I wanted and I lost it. Slow tablet. Slow tablet. Now I like this one too, but I'm going to have to imagine it, imagine her, the bottom of her feet. A lot of portrait style. All right. Uh -uh. We saw these. We saw these. I remember these. I'd like to find that one I was at. Can't be that far away. I hope I'm not boring you guys. <laughs> was it this one? I think it was. Did I say that one? I think I saved that one. Let's see. I think that's this one. Yeah, so it's... I'm getting there. Let's go out to... Come on. Tablet small. Oh, no. It went back to... <laughs> See, I have much better luck on my phone than... Come on, what are you doing? I'm waiting. It's spinning. We're getting there. We've seen all of these. <coughs> My brother's up. Uh, 
Yeah, there's for. Come on, I'm not going to hit it again. Yeah. We've seen that one. We've seen these. This one was the Library of Congress. Okay, let's go a little slower here. Because I'm getting closer. I want to get back to that one I wanted. I remember her. I hope I'm not boring you guys. I'm getting there. We're getting there. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I've seen that one. I remember that one. I remember that one. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Let's save this one off. Come on. Save image. And this was done by Sina, S-N-E-H-A, CISO, C-E-C-I-L. So I, that has that pretty... This might make a nice photograph. All right, that was the one I wanted. Now, let's see if I can find some more full figures. I might have to use my imagination on some of these because now these are kind of dark. I'm gonna save this one just in case. This is Ray R-U-I. Come on. Uh, save image. She's pretty. Together we create. There's some men. Those are more models. I want more traditional. African traditional dress. What you're looking for, go to ice stock. Ooh, she's pretty. This is, I need her to be more traditional. Do, 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 do. I'm hungry. Working at the laptop, they're going to school. This one's cool. I might be able to let's save that off. This one is done by Junior R E I S. Let's see what's going on there. Like they're planting. More modern. I don't mind them being modern, but that's not where I'm going for my. Lady of the Blue Wall. All right. 
Ooh, I love her her hair piece up there. Very nice. She's got gold gold sh eye shadow. She's pretty. She's pretty. Oh, this knot's not a lady. Mm. There's a bag. Excuse me. Oh, she's smoking a, a cigar. She's smoking a cigar. Ah, oh, there's a little one. Well, I'm looking for... That might be the end of it. No, it's taking a minute. Oh, she's pretty. She must be South African. Some, not really traditional African. I must be out of Chicago. I'm in Chicago, I think, here. So let's go look at what I have. So, let me, I got my postcards done at least today. We worked on some arcades. What time is it? It's 8.35. I'm going to do a couple sketches here, right? I should do them in my journal, though. Let's do them in my journal. And I'm not going to car, I'm not, I want to do stencils, but I'm not going to cut the stencils today. I'm just going to do some sketches to get some ideas. And, well, you know what? I almost feel like I should do it on this and then put them in my journal. Let's do it that way. All right. So let's work on this. And grab a pen. Hold the phone. I gotta get a pen out. So, I don't want to mimic that style exactly what Rosemary stencils. You can buy them off. If you just type in uh, African women on Amazon, you'll get some stencils similar to what Rosemary was using. But I, I don't want exactly like that. Maybe this pen. I'm looking for markers that I can use to sketch with here. I'm just going to do some fast sketching just to get ideas. All right, we'll leave that out. Just from the few photos that I was, and then I'll dump my paintbrushes over. Then I'll look for some more off camera. And I'm at unsplash.com, which is a photo site of royalty, royalty free photos that we can use for our artwork and stuff like that. Let me put these brushes back in the jar. I, I knocked them over. Hold the phone. And I just want to do a couple free, uh, fast sketching here. Off of these photos. And let's see. Oh. Oh, 
No, Penelope, I'm going to have to move you again. And so... As I look on here, you know, I'm not seeing... I'm seeing this part, the upper torso of her, really good. That I'm going to have to imagine what her feet might look like. But if I look at uh, one of these others, now I like this one because they got their backs all turned. They're walking away. I like that. And this one, see this again, they, they cut the feet off. They cut the feet off. I don't know why they do that. And then this one, you can see their feet, but it's really dark. And this one's cool. I think that's the last one. But let's go back to... Let's go back to this one. Because I'm going to maybe just do a couple little sketches here. Now, I want to cut a stencil. So, um, I have to think about stencil. What I'm going to do with stencil. So, it might just be an area like this. And like that for her scarf and let's shade this in and can you guys see what I'm doing let me see what you guys are seeing uh, yeah you're kind of seeing it I don't want to get in too much because then you can't see the whole thing so we're just going to shade this in And this is inspired by what by what Rosemary was doing. So, uh, somebody had sent her. Somebody had sent her some stencils. And see, I got out more than one pen because these are old and getting dry. Now her body come. And that's a thin one. That's a thin one too. Now, let's get one of these that Terry sent me. I put them in this bag. Let's open a new. Let's open a new one. I think this is what one that Terry sent me. Yeah, it is because she cut the envelope off so that the tag off so it would fit in that box. And I'm going to have to keep track of my time. It's 8.40. So I'm not going to cut the stencils today. I'm just going to kind of get some ideas here for what I can use for the African caboodle. And it might be 9 o'clock before I get this opened here. We'll open this. Yes, we will. One way or the other. All right. So let's shade these in. Now her body kind of um, comes, she's got some areas like this. And let's see, her hand. She's holding on to her baby. So her hand kind of comes like that. Now, I like this as far as stencil in here. But this will have to be... And she's got some bands around there. Like that. And then she's got a sash that comes and ties. And I'm debating, do I want to put the baby on there? I think I do. 
bit. Let's see, the baby's face, the baby's head comes right in here. She's got a, her scarf kind of comes, looks like there's a lady behind her in here. And this baby's head comes there. And his arm kind of comes down like that. And his little foot comes out this way. His little foot comes here. And he's got a little band on his foot. And his little toes. Something like that. Might be a little bit larger than that. Longer than that. Maybe his head is a little bit smaller. And I'm not sure about putting in features yet. Okay, now her, her scarf kind of turns around like so. Like so. And then her ear, she's kind of looking down. She's got a headband on. Which kind of comes... And then she's got her hair coming out like that. And her head. Uh, she's got her neck and her head. Maybe a little bit more. Not sure I'm happy with this, but that's why we sketch it first and then we refine it. This is part of her headband. And it's got some. And then this is, looks like she's got beads or something in her hair up here. kind of liking that so far I'll have to decide what I want to cut as far as the stencil we need to we need to make it look like a person but for right now I'm just getting the sketch in here and this comes maybe could come down a little bit more all right then her dress is striped and this is where I miss it her dress comes, and so we're just going to imagine what her dress might look like, and we're going to imagine that she has sandals on down here. I just, I, I don't know what this is going to look like down here, and it's striped, so let's put some stripes in. What time is it? It's 8.46. Now, I don't like her chin in here. I'm going to have to refine that face a little. And, and then I'm going to have to design it. I'm going to have to design it so that it will cut like a stencil. In the same way with this little one's head. In his body, he's got a little body shape in there. Not too bad. She might need to be a little skinnier or maybe a little taller. Like that would make her be skinnier and bring her feet instead of there. Ignore all that. I'm kind of liking that and I'll have to figure out how to cut the the face yeah I might just leave it something like like that and she's got a big smile 
and I probably won't have that big dark line. We'll have to see what kind of a line I have. And her hair will probably be something like that. So his body, let's see, she's got bands on her arm. All right, we're gonna leave that for now. It's just a quick study. Let's see what else I have here. Um, these are the ones where they're facing the, whoops, I lost it. I don't know if I can, yeah. They're facing the back. And I'm not sure you guys can see. And so there's a lady, now this is the back. She's, she's got her back to you. And this is kind of a wide collar. Comes that way. And then her neck and her head comes here. And that's probably all dark in there. And then this is striped. So we can put some stripes in there. And uh, she's got a, a garb on this way. Looks like it comes down. Her arm comes down this way and she's got those bands on her arms. That must be a thing. And it comes down like that. Her arm comes down like that. And she's got a band here on her wrist. And we're just going to let it rest there. Now, this is sketching, so I'll have to figure out if I can make a stencil out of it. I have to figure out what I want to cut and what I want to leave so that it so that it looks like a stencil. But what I like about this photo that I'm looking at here, you guys probably can't see it too well. Um, I can see the full figure. I'm doing this lady right here. And her dress... Her dress kind of swishes out this way, and I, I see her feet. It kind of comes out. It looks like she's carrying some sort of a bag here. Some sort of a bag. And her dress comes down. And it looks like her dress has a fringe on it, actually. And I can see her feet. That's what I like to see. I'm going to have to look for more photos to get ins inspiration. There's one foot, and she's walking. So her feet are shaped like... Something like that. That might be a little too big. Yeah. And she's got something on. Now this is all... We might just make it like this. And this is all dark in here. And of course her skin is dark. Which really makes it pretty get that nice contrast in there. We could leave just some lines in here and some lines here. I don't know about the fringe. And then this is kind of a some sort of a bag or something that she's carrying. I kind of like that. And her head, her head is in here, and it looks like she's got some earrings on. So we'll give her a couple of earrings. And this is, comes down this way. 
So I think this one would be a pretty nice stencil here. This one needs some work. But I'll bet you I could convert it into a stencil. I'm liking those. So we've got some more that are facing this lady. There's two of them. This one. I'll move my... This lady in the orange and green. I don't know if you guys can see it. Because I, when I show it to you like this, all I see is blur. But she's kind of cool because she's got a polka dress on and it's a little shorter. And I can see her feet. And she's got a nice headband on. So let's see if I can't do her. Let's look at that. That's kind of cool. Let me... Let me put this underneath the, and come over here. We're going to try that lady in the green top and the orange dress. Let's try it over here because I got a, and she's holding a stick in one hand and a, a, some sort of a bag in the other, and there's a dog. There's a dog or a cat or something next to her feet. She must be an animal lover. All right, so she's got her hair kind of up in this band over here. So we're gonna start with that. Kind of like that. And her, her hair is dark. And you can see her ear. And her head comes like so. And I can kind of see part of her face, which means that hair has to come a little bit more. You can see her neck. And then she's got a... They wear these kind of these draped collars. Every one of these ladies have this kind of a collar on there. I don't know why they wear those part of their tradition but every one of those ladies have those collars on I'm not sure they're all ladies <laughs> but this one is for sure they got those straight collars on comes around like so like that Penelope you're in danger 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 What time is it? It's 8.55. Today is Thursday. And I think Ann Lar will open her. I don't know if she's opening it. Has she been in here? Opening her crafting chat room on Facebook, Ann Lar's group. She usually opens it on Thursday mornings. All right. She's kind of skinny, though. I don't want to make her too fat. So let's skinny her down a little. Let's put her arm in here. And she's got bands on her arm. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick sketchy sketch here. Because I don't want to be on too late. Her other arm comes this way. And you can just kind of see where she's holding this. This stick. She's holding a stick. And it comes down kind of like that, and it meets her body here. And she's got a, her skirt comes this way. Like that. And then her arm comes down like this. And she's got another band on it here. And she's holding on to some sort of a bag down there now she's got some hippies here hips not hippies she's got hips and her her dress is kind of following the outline of her legs there it kind of drapes around her legs and kind of comes that way 
and her dress has polka dots on it so let's put some polka dots and up here are stripes and does she have earrings on she doesn't have earrings on but i'm gonna put earrings on her put big hoop, hoop ear earrings on her and she's got polka dots and because this dress is the way her dress is going around her body here the polka dots are not just round there <coughs> following the curve of her body. And let's put some dark lines in here because it is going to be a stencil. Now, do I want to make the dress dark or the polka dots dark? It's awfully hard to cut out circles, but I'm going to make the polka dots dark just for we might reverse that but either way it's hard to cut those out unless you have a electronic cutter which I'll probably be cutting mine by hand all right now I want to look at her feet her her leg comes you can see more of her leg comes like this down and she has looks like she's got some bands around her legs there too and of course her her top her top comes this one go back up to her top here her top kind of comes like that and she's got bands on this arm too uh, her her top is kind of hard to see all right now bring her leg down that way and you can kind of see her she's got sandals on and her foot kind of comes off like that sort of like that and the other one comes similar but the dog is in the way <laughs> the dog's in the way and we're going to put a band on that not sure exactly might be part of her sandal I'll give her a sandal here I'm kind of happy with that now these are just quick sketches I need to do one more need to do one more in there let's see what I have if I can do a quick one I do a quick one that's the last one Oh. Um, these, I think, I think that's a lady and a man here. I don't think those are two ladies. It might be. It's hard to tell. But she, her for sure, she's holding that little baby. So I'm going to go for a quick sketch in there. And what I like about her, her head... Let's put her head here. Well, this is going to be faster. Her, her, it comes this way. And her head, she's got a high cheekbones. Comes like that. And I'm not going to put in her facial features because I'd be all day trying to do that. And we're just going to kind of sketch in her ear there. Maybe put in, well her hair like that no a little bit more flat up in there and her head is not that angular it's a little bit more round and actually it's kind of pretty it's got a her neckline kind of comes like that let's see if I want to make her a little prettier what she is I kind of messed that up but we'll get back to that and she's got these bands coming down around her arm I'm 
Let's see. Let's make her neck come down. Uh, I hate to do that, but I'm I uh, uh and then she's holding on to she's holding on to her baby here. So her arm comes this way, maybe not quite that fat of an arm, and she's got these. kind of jewel things and I lose what's going on in here because this other figure is standing there but she's got a her dress kind of drapes that way and drapes down like so now I lose it in there my photo doesn't show what's going on in here so I'm having to imagine this part let's see and then on this arm, she's holding the, the little one who is all, he's all, he or she is all wrapped in a blanket there. So she's holding on to a little one here. And her arm comes, her hand comes this way. I'm just going to kind of represent it there and her arm comes that way and her other hand comes in here and this little baby's blankie falls down and it's hard for me to see come on got the details what happened to it yeah the little blankie and I can't get it in there because of that line. The little blankie comes down at an angle like this. And it's all little diamonds. Little diamond shapes in here. Quick sketches. Quick sketches. And kind of falls around, drapes around her arm. And she's got a yellow piece that comes this way, comes down. And here's where I, I have to use my imagination. I want her to be skinny, so we don't want her to be too. And I'm just gonna put her feet kind of peeking out here. And we'll let this straight down and we'll, I think we'll put this in straight or dark area here. Let it drape down like that. That's as far as I'm going to go. Uh, maybe put some more diamond shapes in here. Hard to see here. Now this little one, the blankie kind of comes like so. This is her arm. Arm kind of is holding on to that baby. And she has really more decorative pieces on here. Kind of like so, and actually the little little one's hand comes up there, but I'm gonna leave that off. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, just a quick sketch. Put in some dark lines here. Maybe make her a little skinnier there. Give her a shape. Alright, so there are my quick sketches of African ladies. Now, um, I might have to refine these and figure out, like this, 
I like this, but I think she should be a little bit taller. She's kind of, to me, she's kind of short. But she was kind of short anyway. Maybe she just needs a little bit more attention. And her dress, her dress was polka dotted. And I made them black. And I might have needed just to make them white. I'm pretty happy with these. So if I can convert these four into stencils... And it would be fun to take some of their beautiful cloth, like this this plaid on this one. If I can get back to it here. Come on. This plaid on this cloth, it would be fun just to make some stencils to mimic the plaid on that cloth. And just kind of like so, and then maybe put in a black one uh, like this. And, you know, do some, some textural stencils that just kind of mimic what I'm seeing here. And use that as a textural background. Be kind of fun to do. Just sketchy, sketchy sketch stuff here. Just playing with it. But that might be fun. And then, you know, take some of the other, well, even like the polka dots. Polka dots are hard to do. I'd probably just, uh, to cut stencils, um, probably just use the, the stencil I have. Let's see. What other, like, look at her dress. Look at the lines on this dress. Just, you know, do something like this, like that. Put in the vertical lines, like this. They, they wear very patterned outfits. They like a lot of prints. And then they have other lines going this way. And, and uh, let's see more lines coming up like that and then another band of vertical lines like this and forget those polka dots I'm going to scribble over them so it'd be fun just to to grab some photos and Look at this. You can barely see it, but there's, this is very much a, a mountain and valley type thing. And just for, just for fun, do some stenciling like that and some lines. Those wouldn't be hard to cut. I'll have to play around with that. So it's after nine, I'll bet you. Let me, it's ten after. I think Ann Lar is opening her craft room. Let me come out. Oh, there's Becky. Hi, Becky. Mary, mud cloth designs on a stencil would be beautiful. There are many patterns. I'll have to look up mud cloth. Let me make a note. Let me make a note. Look up patterns on mud cloth that I agree Sue's I think that would be cool and let's see I'm gonna put African women AFRIC African women sketches and this is September 9th, 2021. And I'm just going to put my name down here just because I'm going to put this in my journal. And someday I'll be looking in my journal and I'll go, what is this? <laughs> and let's see, let's put, 
um, African cloth look up uh, patterning. So this would be fun for the, you know, it'd be fun even in the uh, caboodle to do some fast sketches, just like what I did big for the caboodle. But just to sit in, in my caboodle and look, get some pictures like I did off of Unsplash of African women, maybe some, some men, not only women, but maybe some African children. You know, and uh, just do some fast sketches like this. Uh, and I, I'd like to cut a couple stencils. I think this will make a nice stencil, the back. And this one might make a nice stencil. Um, these I'd probably have to develop a little bit more. I mean, they're okay as sketches. But for a stencil, you need, you need broad areas of black and white because you're going to be cutting out shapes. Your shapes can still be, you know, irregular like this, but when you cut a stencil, you need, you know, you need shapes. So I think these two will make nice stencils. These, these, I, you know, I'm, I'm toward the end of my day here, so. All right, let's look at the rest of the chat, and then I'll sign off. Carly here. Becky said it's a sewing day. She said 10 a.m. Eastern, which would be 9. So, yeah, um, she's probably opened a room already. For those of you who are who are um, interested in Anne's crafting chat, I might pop in there a little bit later today. I always have to go get me some breakfast, and <laughs> then I fall asleep. <laughs> Mary, Angie says, I need to go. Bye, Angie. She's gone. Journey's here. Uh, Journey says she has to go. Bootsy said, Mary is hungry. The only way I could do a four-hour stream or anything else for that matter, I'd have to have the fridge next to my craft table. <laughs> Suze is still here. Ami is leaving. Ami says, I got to move on some morning things to do boy do i understand mary a lot of us ordered a set of stencils like rosemary yeah on amazon i saw those on amazon but i think i'm going to try to cut my own just for fun just for fun i mean those are running eight nine ten dollars on amazon and uh you know i i God, when you do your own work, it's it's kind of got your own hand to it. But it's inspired. These are inspired by what Rosemary was showing. Those stencils that were gifted to her inspired maybe me cutting a couple stencils. Have I started my African caboodle? <laughs> uh, I opened the I opened the happy mail the other day. Does that count? <laughs> oh, there's Mark. He says paint girly. I have a I have a few sticks of let's see, what is she asking? Barbara's here, Journey. What was Lori asking? Do, 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 do. Mary, you told me to try to make a doll. I finally tried. Oh, Journey! If you're still listening, I'll go look at Fibsville. Oh, I gotta see your doll journey if you're still out there. I hope you have band-aids, Mark. <laughs> Mark said, I've been working too much. I need to get back to arting. I've been playing with needle felting. Oh, you probably have been in Beth Schuler's streams, haven't you, Mark? Needle felting is fun. We'll, we'll, we'll go see what you're doing. Uh, she, he says, I'm sitting here thinking it's dead in here and top coat was on. So all I was seeing was my chat. Oh, it, um, Mark, if you're out there listening or anybody who's listening, uh, you know it's morning. It's still it's nine seventeen here, but when I come on at four thirty in the morning, 
I usually have my early birds in here and they're they're all saying good morning and everything but uh, you know chat will kind of die down and you know uh, right about now people got to move on with their day so chat this you know chat kind of dies down a little so and, and I'm okay with that I chat I'm chattering I'm here chattering away and it's it's almost 20 after 9 so I think I will leave these sketches and maybe put a couple of my postcards out here and uh let's let's just put it I I'll never get all of these on there let's just put let's put two down here and I did an arcad and it's sitting over here it said did an arcad this morning kind of a halloween pumpkin on here so we did an arcad that's all i did this morning that's it so today is thursday don't forget tomorrow morning time for art stream starts janet nash kicks it off around six central and we're doing rooms and houses with interactive elements and i'm really interested to see what's going to happen with all of those i don't know if i can get these on my thumbnail so i think i'm going to leave them off of my thumbnail and just take a picture of that i think i'm just going to do the sketches on my thumbnail i'll be lucky if i get all of those i might have to cut this center piece off have a great day everybody I will see you tomorrow in the live stream hop. Bye.